Displaced Grid is an advanced hockey layout designed for ergonomics and speed for Warcraft 3 Reforged. Warcraft 3 is one of the godfathers of not only the RTS genre, but competitive gaming in general. And it comes to no surprise, it's one of the most hockey intensive games there is. Now, explain to me, why should we use an interface designed for ergonomics of 2001, 23 years later? I personally couldn't find the answer to this question and instead I've designed, playtested and built this application called Displaced Grid Layout and it comes with two parts, two big chunks that you have to think through. The layout, the Displaced Grid Layout and the modules. Now, these are separate, you can use none or either of those and you can use the modules with your whatever layout that you're currently using, even the classic or the grid whatever you're Research. currently using will work with all the modules. It's a separate entity. And my goal with all of this work was to bring the gap between our intention and our execution closer. So I want players, I want the users to execute on their intentions with faster speed and with more precision. And after playtesting this extensively, I can confidently say that your APM can increase up to 70%. And the slower you are right now, the more APM gain you will see. The truth is, the worse the interface, the bigger that gap between our intention and execution, because the slower player suffers the most from the gap. The slower player fights the interface more than they fight the opponent. And my goal with this work was to bring to bring the core of the experience uh, from underwater so that even the slower player could actually play the game and we know that from you know from starcraft 2 let's say below masters the game doesn't even exist because you're just trying to battle with the interface and with all the management instead of playing the actual opponent i mean i kind of exaggerating but this happens to an extent with with warcraft 3 as well because you really want to you know move your character around you really want to move your armies around and do the macro and the micro but it's hard because the interface is just you know it's not designed for 2024 so displays grid allows you to play the game faster and with more precision so that you can execute this so if you're a slow player you will execute at an at a speed that will feel acceptable to you and it will increase your satisfaction with the game much more it will increase the engagement with the game much more you will actually love the game more simply because you're now using a better interface and let me explain how it works and you can see on your screen that my hand barely moves and i have access to all nine control groups the worker the camera hockeys the six items and two heroes I barely move my hand because the layout is just so much more compact so that I can use all the buttons that are necessary to play the game without any hand fatigue and without being slow. The layout on the first glance looks kind of strange, but I promise you it's way more intuitive than it looks once you get used to it and it will take you maybe a day or two. I'm a relatively slow player. My APM, generally speaking, hours around 100, 100 15 something around these numbers but with displays grid you can see that my apm right there on your screen you can see it's 170 75 so it's a 50 percent more apm just from the better layout the second part to this application is the modules so the layout and the modules the modules is something that you should not really be using against an opponent a real opponent in a pvp environment simply because they're so powerful they, I would consider them as cheating and most people would consider them as cheating. However, I should say that, that I do personally believe that this type of functionality has to be a part of the core experience. It has to be a part of the core game because it just feels natural to the game. And uh, these modules, for the most part, provide the functionality that already kinda should exist in 2024. Again, most of this most of this functionality exists in StarCraft 2, which is a 12 years old game. And if you have a bunch of questions in regards to how to 
set it up, where to download it, how to use it, go to this website. You can see it on your screen or I've put a link in the description down below. Um, it's a landing page, which I also constructed specifically for this reason, and it covers pretty much everything. And if you can't find for some reason, if you can't find the answer to your question, there's also a link to my Discord, which I've also set up specifically so that anyone could bother me with questions. And I'm willing to answer the questions because I genuinely believe this is a fantastic application. Another reason I really want more people to know about it is because I have a personal philosophy uh, that I follow is that RTS games fell off in popularity not only because of their complexity but also because they're just hard to play. They feel hard to play but it's an illusion. I promise you it's an illusion. I've played StarCraft 2 on you know at master's level. I understand it's an illusion because it's not the game that is hard to play, it's the opponent. It's the opponent that makes it hard for you. Which is the point of the game, to play opponents. But this argument is somewhat grounded in reality. It is hard to control everything well enough so that we can play. I've read thousands of comments about RTS that they're like APM spam and I don't like it. And uh, that's why I don't play RTS games. And uh, like some players just don't see the dexterity check as a part of that experience. And some, they just don't enjoy sweating out to horn APM, as they say. And the very intelligence that draws a very specific crowd to strategy games is what is exactly what's making us self-aware of how embarrassing our execution is. It's funny. And the gap between the intent and the execution might be too noticeable for a lot of players to tolerate. And that's why they prefer to watch games instead of playing the game themselves, because there is an ideal play. The, this is how, I don't know, Happy plays. And this is how I play. It's shit. It's garbage. I can't play very well. And the worse the interface, the bigger that gap is. So please enjoy the app. It's very easy to get used to. Everything is laid out. Your it's very too easy to set up, very easy to transfer your skills onto this layout. And I hope to stir up a conversation around it. Honestly, I do believe this has a lot of potential. It's free, uh, it's completely free. All the modules that are designed is free. It's open source as well. You can download it from my GitHub. And uh, I hope to hear from you guys. town needs help research finish insufficient gold our allies town needs help Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Research finished.
Our champion has fallen. Our ally's town needs help. Research finished.